Yeah, man, yeah, man. We're changing the pace a little bit, you know. We're going to show you how to make two delicious dishes on a budget. Now, these two dishes are specifically geared to you young men out there and bachelors, all right? So we're jumping into the kitchen with Chef Peter Ayub, and he's here to show us how to do that. But before we get to those dishes, all right, there's a couple of things that you need to have in your kitchen that if you do these, follow these rules, basically, you are sure to impress whoever comes around because you are going to whip out some great recipes. Peter, thank you for joining us this morning. So it's all about the bachelors, the young men, you know what, we want to make sure we're impressed, you know, when maybe the girlfriend comes over or even mom, who yeah, knows. I, I think there's nothing more impressive than the man can cook. You it's know? It's like it's something it's special. It's sexy, you know? apparently. Okay. okay. So, a couple, a couple <laughs> so of, rule one. Yeah, a couple of things that you need in the kitchen is obviously a chopping board. Okay. Um, something nice and flat, um, level. Often what I do is put a, a dishcloth underneath it so it stops it from slipping okay. and moving around. A good knife. I mean, there's always, you don't need to buy a whole set, just one good knife that you keep sharp yes. all the time. Keep it onto your blade. A beautiful pot and a pan, something yeah. that's non-stick, something that you can use, multi-use for anything, yeah. and something that can go into the oven as well. I was you, about you to need, say, for yeah. the dudes, non-stick pans are the way to go, for okay. sure. And then my two favorites is salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, chicken stock, you can never go wrong by having that in your pantry. All right. Some olive oil, whole peeled tomato, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the, the nutritional value of tinned tomato is actually yeah. as good, if not better, than uh, like fresh tomato. Yeah. Flour, I think that's the, the creation of Got just about flour, anything. Yeah. And I'd say some noodles. I prefer the Eastern ones, which take about yeah. eight minutes to cook, not the two minute noodles. Yeah, so <laughs> I can imagine you whip out a pack of two minute noodles. I mean, yeah, not so impressive. So, so basically, if you have these things, I mean, just by adding one or two extra maybe ingredients, you can really come up with some well, great dishes. Well, that's what we're going to do today. So yeah. we're going to take up pretty much our basic stuff here and we're yeah. going to turn it into guys like at home that they can really impress yeah. their day, next day. Nice, so what, so what are we gonna be making a little bit later on? We're gonna do an egg foo young, which is obviously an oriental dish, a quick, simple way of doing it, and then we're gonna make some potato gnocchi, and I think that is the most impressive yeah. because you could whip it up while, while your oh, date well is in the kitchen and she'll, so she'll think you're like amazing. Hey, you can see okay, you so work in the kitchen, that's gonna be great. Yeah, it's, it's such an easy recipe. Most people think it's, it's one of those impossible yeah. things, but it's actually so easy to do. Exactly, and it sounds complicated. I'm making gnocchi tonight yeah. with some fresh basil and everything. And, yeah, and obviously you can change it according to whatever sauce you want. Exactly, so you glass of wine, like I said, you're gonna impress whoever comes around. So stick around, we're gonna make those recipes in just a little bit right now. Leanne, over to you.